Hello, Sam here with JBugs.com. A friend of mine was nice enough to let us take over his shop for a few days, so we can show you some of the repairs on our 1971 Super Beetle restoration. We're going to begin with the most major rust repair, the rusted through driver's side heater channel. Before we start, we'll make sure to say, wear appropriate protective gear, work in a safe and well-ventilated environment, and only perform work that is well within your capabilities. Cutting, grinding, and welding can all be dangerous, so make sure to use the necessary precautions. Before we cut out the heater channel, we want to make sure that our body is braced. The heater channel is a major structural component to the body, and removing it without bracing the body could cause major issues with alignment later. We made a simple structure that bolts into the lower seat belt mounts on the B pillars, and to the lower door hinge bolts at the bottom of the A pillars. We start with the easiest portion to remove and cut the heater channel section out between the door jams with a sawzall. We make sure to cut at the inside edge of the factory welded seams. We can always cut or grind away more later, but adding metal later isn't always as easy. Next, we'll get to work at the front quarter section. A wire wheel on an angle grinder is used to remove the paint, undercoating, and body seam sealer to expose the metal edge of the inner fender where it meets the heater channel. With the seam now visible, a cutoff disc on an angle grinder is used to cut into the heater channel, following the lower edge of the inner fender well, all the way forward to, but not into, the front firewall. The heater channel is pried down a bit, then we move to the inside, where we'll start removing the body seam sealer with a knife, before we switch to our wire wheel to expose the seams. Then, we use a sawzall to cut the heater channel at the front firewall up to, but not into, the front inner fender well. We switch to a cutoff wheel and cut along the inner fender well towards the front firewall and remove the section of the heater channel we just cut loose. We switch back and forth between the sawzall and a cutoff wheel to remove some of the inner heater channel that is still attached to the inner fender well. Then we work on removing the heater channel duct that sits at the bottom of the door jam. This is one area where the majority of the heater channel is seam welded, not spot welded to the body. We trim up to and into the weld a little at a time as we want to save the door jam metal. We pry away and remove the metal as we go. Then we move to the outer fender well. We will be cut up into the rested out portion of the inner fender well. Then. At the outer, lower edge of the inner fender well at the door jam, the spot welds are drilled out. The sheet metal is pried away from the heater channel. And the heater channel is pried out of the door jam. A cutoff wheel is used to cut out the rusted section of the inner fender well. Then the remaining whip of the heater channel is cut and pried away from the inner fender well and the front firewall inside the car. We alternate between a hammer and chisel, vice grips, grinder, and a sawzall as needed. Once all the heater channel is removed from the front quarter, we clean up the area with a wire wheel before moving to the rear section. We continue there with the wire wheel cleaning up all the seams. Once the metal edges are exposed and we can see where all the spot welds are, the spot welds across the top edge of the inner quarter panel are drilled out. Then, a cutoff wheel is used to cut into the heater channel at the lower edge of the B pillar. The metal along the inside edge is pried up, then the weld at the body is ground down, and because the heater channel is pretty much all rusted away on the outside, we don't need to cut it there, so we pull it down away from the body, and we cut along the back inside the rear fender well, and the heater channel can be removed. The last portion that we'll cut out is a bit of rust on the rear cross member, and we'll take a break here. In our next few videos, we'll get the rear cross member and the left quarter panels repaired. We'll repair the body repair plates at the front firewall, and then we'll install the new heater channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button below. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And when you need parts for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.